Hello YouTube, this is Necro Steve, and today we have a VGC battle against King Wukong. Uh, of course, major shoutouts to him, he and I did a lot of, uh, just spitballing of various ideas to use for the ICL team and for the entry of the dragon type, and it's always just good to have people to bounce ideas off, and more importantly, find new people to bounce those ideas off of as well. Um, so thanks for taking the time to bounce ideas off of me. There's a lot of bouncing going on here, basically. Uh, you have to forgive how I sound, of course. Still coming off being sick, and the weather here is such that my allergies are going crazy. But I really wanted to narrate this battle for you all. This was a great battle. Now you see that I am using my ICL team from March, or February, excuse me. And so you guys are already familiar with that team if you're watching this, probably. If not, lots of videos on my channel just talking about this team and seeing it used in other places. Uh, from his team, you can see that it probably looks like a Trick Room team with Aromatis or Jellicent to set up Trick Room, um, Heatran, Obama Snow, and uh, Conkledur all just function really well in Trick Room. So, knowing, thinking, I figured that he would leave with something to set up Trick Room, but at the same time, if he sets up Trick Room, that will benefit my team too. Just because Aegislash, Escavalier, and Audino are all pretty slow, uh, whereas I have priority in the form of Melodic and Breloom. So Trick Room does not really bother my team at all. And he actually ends up predicting that as he does not lead with anything that can uh, set up Trick Room. Now with those particular leads that he has, uh, I figured that maybe he'd go for the fire type move from Heatran. Uh, and I really wanted to go for Spore here to put the Heatran to sleep just because it's really annoying to my team overall. I only have a couple ways to hit it super effectively. Uh, I am just going to take Kongledur out immediately with Brave Bird. And he switches in Jellicent on the Mach Punch there. That was a good prediction. I didn't know if he would switch out or not right there. So I'm just going to U-turn out with my uh, Talonflame predicting him to want to go for a Water Spout. And unfortunately for me, I don't get three hits on um, my Bullet Seed, so he's able to stay alive with Jelson. That would have been really, really big if I had been able to KO it, because then he would have been forced to bring in um, either a Moongus, or he would have been forced to, to at least show me another option right then. Uh, Flash Cannon is going to be enough to KO me right there. That actually was an interesting turn when he went for Flash Cannon, just because I was really, really close to going for Y Guard, predicting his Heatran to wake up, but I thought that Wygar was a little bit obvious. Uh, of course, each Slash can block those types of moves like Heat Wave that are really popular on Heatran. Um, so I ended up not going for it, and since I didn't go for a Y Guard, uh, he actually was predicting me to go for a Y Guard, and so he went for Flash Cannon, KOing my Breloom. Now, had he gone for Heat Wave, my Breloom would still be alive, but I wouldn't have been able to get off any damage on his Amoongus. But since he did not go for Heat Wave, we have the opposite situation. I really would have liked to have Breloom alive. Uh, yes, it's prone to having its attacks redirected by Amoongus, but um, it would have been really nice to deal with the Heatran with, just because uh, my, now my only real way of dealing with it, of course, is I have Shadow Ball on my Aegislash, or I can whittle it down with Talent Flame. so just not really good options there as far as um, trying to hit it. That's okay though, we ended up kind of just protecting this turn out. I tried to hit the Amoongus, because I didn't think that Heatran could touch my Talonflame, but he's carrying Ancient Power, so that was a fantastic turn by him. I don't think I've ever seen Ancient Power on Heatran. I think it's becoming more popular, specifically to deal with Talonflame and Charizard Y. Uh, but just, I didn't see that coming, so that sucked. Otherwise, I would have switched into Scavalier immediately if I had seen that coming. Because the Scavalier with wide guard support means that Heatran can't touch any of my Pokemon. Uh, and unfortunately, he's able to put me to sleep. And so even though I get my weakness policy activated, I can't KO either of his Pokemon with the damage output that I have. And my Aegislash is asleep. So without the wake, I really needed the wake right there for the wide guard to block the heat wave. And then maybe I could have come back here. I'm not sure. But that just was a good play by him with really, really good timing. And so with that, I'm not going to be able to survive here. 
but yeah, that was a pretty fun short match. It it was it was fast, but it was really indicative of being aware of all the options that your opponent has at their disposal. Now when I see Heatran coming in on Talonflame, granted it's a good switch in generally, but most of the time Heatran can't do much back to Talonflame, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, maybe pair Talonflame with some redirection to uh, avoid those ancient power type shenanigans. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye bye now.